The Eldora Million is just seven days away, and we're looking to the growing entry list today. Plus, we've got news from Darren Pittman and results from PA Speed Week, the Summer Nationals, and more. Let's go. It's Wednesday, July 5th. I'm Justin Fiedler. This is Dirt Tracker Daily. Things get rolling a week from today at Eldora for the million. They'll run split field prelim programs on Wednesday to then set up Thursday's action, which will result in the largest winner's payout in the history of sprint car racing. Friday will then flip to the night before, and Saturday is the King's Royal. According to the Eldora website, the early entry deadline for the million is this Friday, so teams do still have some time to get into the mix uh, here. As of today, there are 47 cars on the initial entry list. We looked at this list a few weeks ago, uh, and it has grown sizably since then. I believe there were like 20 or 22 cars when we first took a look at it. We talked about Darren Pittman being in the field in the Alex Bowman 55. We know that Shane Stewart will be in Bernie's Indy Race Part 71 and that Kerry Madsen has taken the Vermeer 55 seat. Uh, Shane Stewart is not on this entry list right now, but I think uh, should... Uh, should be fairly soon. Some other interesting moves revealed by this list include Hunter Schoenberg in the Swindell Speed Lab 39. That's a car that we've seen Justin Sanders drive all season, especially in a lot of those high limit shows. But there is a NARC show next Saturday, which conflicts uh, with the King's Royal finale. Looking at some Swindell tweets, it looks like that conflict is the reason for the move uh, with Sanders committed to his California ride first. So I'm sure we'll see Sanders back in that uh, after this uh, Eldor event, but Hunter Schoenberg in it this week. Uh, Cal uh, Ian Matson is in the list uh, on the list in the Sandvig 7, which would mean a return to racing for him after sitting out for health reasons and departing the 2KS ride in the Midwest. And Cole Macedo will race in the Tarleton 21 as that car will track all the way from California. Looking ahead over the next week, this list should swell a bit more, maybe into the 50s or low 60s, I would guess. Last year, uh, this weekend, between uh, the historical big one and Kings Royal had 55 cars. We saw 54 cars at Houston a few weeks ago for their big outlaw shows. We'll We'll keep an eye on the list uh, the rest of the week, let you know any other additions. You can see the full entry list over at eldorospeedway.com. Click on the Million and Kings Royal race info in the top nav bar. One other sprint car news item for you. On top of running the million with Alex Bowman, Darren Pittman will be in the Guy Forbrook 5 car for both the 360 and 410 Knoxville Nationals. He's also going to do a weekly show on July 22nd in that car. The Always Race Day guys had that bit yesterday. Pittman finished 10th in the 410 Nationals a year ago and nearly won the 360 Nationals in 2021. Uh, he did eventually finish second to Geo Selzy in that one. All right, before we move on, it's a big day over in the merch store at shop.dirttracker.com. First, those FlexFit hats are back in stock after the first round sold out in seven hours just a couple of weeks ago. I ordered more this time. There are now two different color options. We've got the, the gray with the black logo like we had the first time around, and we've also now got black with the white logo. Uh, there are some small mediums as well, so you've got uh, large, extra large, small mediums as your two different size options. Also, for the first time ever, I've got logo t-shirts available. If you watched yesterday's show, uh, you saw the under the lights logo on the blue shirt. And I am currently wearing the new uh, classic logo shirt uh, on the charcoal color. Uh, so two new shirt options and there are plenty of those in a bunch of different sizes here uh, are ready to ship. Shipping is free for all U.S. orders, $20 and over. So that means hats and shirts will ship for free if you live in the U.S. of A. You can also pick up stickers. I uh, got plenty of the new uh, Under the Lights logo stickers and there's also koozies in there as well. So you can grab one of those while you're getting your hat and shirt order. Uh, you can see all of the new stuff over at Shop dirttracker.com. Pennsylvania Speed Week finally closed out last night with the rescheduled finale at Port Royal. $15,000 to the winner of the Keith Kaufman Classic. Logan Wagner, Mike Wagner brought the field to green uh, with Logan out front in that one early. As you could have guessed, though, uh, for starting Anthony Macri was quickly after him for the lead. The 39M grabbed the top spot at halfway and went unchallenged to the finish. He scored the victory, wrapped up the 2023 Speed Week title. Logan ended up second with his dad, Mike, in third. Brent Marks was third, uh, kind of in the mix late, but uh, uh, faded back to fourth. He had front nose wing damage. It was all flipped over on the front of that thing, so I'm sure it was a handful to drive. There were some nasty crashes last night, including early incidents for TJ Stutz and Danny Dietrich, and then later Devin Borden. All drivers were okay. Josh Weller was the night's URC 360 sprint car winner. We'll see a number of these teams next week at Eldora for the million. Obviously, we just talked about the entry list, uh, but this coming weekend, they'll have plenty of options around home. It's a normal Friday, Saturday uh, between the Grove, Lincoln, and Port. Sealand's Grove will run on 
on Sunday to make up their rained out speed week show. Uh, they're still honoring the 10,000 win at 700 to start purse. So that's cool, but it is not a speed week show anymore. No more points, none of that stuff. Uh, just kind of a standalone race. The all stars are also not far away this weekend with Ransomville Friday and Sharon on Saturday. So a lot of options for those guys if they want to go racing this weekend. Summer Nationals Week 4 got started last night at Tri-City Speedway as well. When I saw the results on Twitter, my initial reaction was, why were there two modified races? As Tyler Nicely and Mike Harrison were last night's winners. But actually, Harrison, who has something like 59 career modified Nationals wins, was last night's late model winner. Along with his UMP mod, Harrison is running a late model schedule this season for Steve Lampley and Randy Cordy, and he was dominant at Tri-City. Start on the pole, led all 30 laps en route to his first career late model model win anywhere. Jason Fager, Gordy Gundaker rounded out the podium while week three champion Ashton Winger was fourth. Harrison has been running the late model all around the region this year, including at places like Fairbury, Farmer City, Peavely, Brownstown. And then he got finished up with his victory lane celebrations in the late model and then was quickly right back to racing in the night's modified feature. He wasn't able to sweep the night. Tyler nicely led flag to flag in that one for his fourth win of the year. Harrison tried to make a, a, a run at him late, but eventually finished third after nearly spinning coming to the white flag. Will Krupp finished second in that one. Nicely continues to lead the modified uh, uh, championship standings right now over Kyle Steffens. Tonight, both the late models and modifieds are headed for Red Hill Raceway for round two of week four. Uh, you can watch it live on Dirt Vision if you cannot get there. Uh, two other uh, races from last night, both out in California. Shane Gullibick was a 360 winner at Silver Dollar Speedway, topping Landon Brooks and Andy Forsberg. And Tony Gomes beat Michael Ficino and Dylan Bloomfield for a 360 win at Placerville. Uh, the Monday show for the Super Dirt Car Series at Land of Legends was postponed because of weather, but the series is back at it tonight with a return trip to the Orange County Fair Speedway. This event was started way back on May 7th, but eventually postponed. The first 18 feature spots already locked in from action back that night. Uh, Larry White, Matt Shepard, Billy Decker, Brent Hearn, Danny Creeden, Peter Britton, Jimmy Phelps, and Chris Heil make up the first four rows. They'll run uh, three last chance races to fill the remainder of the field with two cars transferring uh, from each of those. There are some big names who are on the outside looking in before action gets rolling tonight, including Matt Williamson, Tim Fuller, and Max McLaughlin. With this event being pushed back, I'm not sure how many cars they might lose from the field, so we could see some adjusted lineups later after everyone gets signed in. For example, Tim McCready was in the show, and I don't know what his plans are for tonight. I don't know if he's coming or not. Through four points races so far, Shepard leads the championship by just four over Williamson. Phelps, Britton, Chris Heil uh, are the rest of the top five. After tonight's show wraps up the next race on the Super Dirt Car Series calendar next Tuesday night at Big Diamond Speedway. If you aren't near uh, uh, OCFS tonight, you can watch live on Dirt Vision. Uh, in other Dirt Racing podcasts this week, Open Red has Steve Carbone, Quick Time has Justin Sanders, Dirt Tracks and Rib Racks has Austin Irvine and Ryan Barr. All gas, no brakes, multiple shows, multiple guests leading into the next XR Super Series event. Hoagie's Garage has Greg Baker, Dunwich on Dirt has Derek Treese, Kyle Loader, and Travis Scott. Non-Wing Worldwide has Emerson Axum, and there are new episodes of The Dirt Reporters, Dirt Track Confessions, and Dirt Track Weekly. To see all of the shows, all of the episodes, head over to dirttracker.com slash podcasts. Uh, also today, uh, if you are a subscriber to the Slider newsletter, uh, the second edition of that went out today. It is in your inbox. A uh, really neat story from Steve Thornton about some uh, New York sprint car guys. So check that one out. If you would like to subscribe to the Slider, if you don't do so already, you can do that at dirttracker.com slash newsletter. If you'd like to contribute to a future edition of the Slider, drop me an email or a DM because I am looking for more people to get involved there. I hope you guys have a good Wednesday out there. We'll see you right back here tomorrow.